to Spanmade, I'm doing a quick tag video called the Pay It Forward tag where you choose, I think the rules are five booktubers that you watch religiously who have less than 500 subscribers and that you just think that they need more recognition and that you would like to pass on their channel and stuff. Laura and thank you so much for tagging me and for the shout out that was really sweet um, I really enjoy yours as well so everyone should go and check out Bookie Laura I've been following her for a, the whole year now since I started um, and yeah I feel like we're kind of friends every time she puts up a video I have to watch it I follow a lot of uh, booktubers and I don't always watch every video that every booktuber puts out because that would just take up all of my time but I always always watch Bookie Laura's and I get excited and I'm like, oh, I wonder what she's going to be reading this month. I feel like we're just having a conversation, like she's just talking to me about her books and how her week's been and I really, really enjoy that. I really love the community of BookTube in that you can get to know these people from the books that they read and the interesting conversations and thought patterns that they have about them and I really, I really enjoy that. So, um, yeah. This is a really fun tag for me to do because I follow a lot of small, smaller booktubers because my favourite content to watch is people who are just like, let me talk to you about this book that I'm reading and then they just gush about what happened in the book and they just tell you all of their opinions on the book that they're reading. And don't get me wrong, I love what other bigger booktubers do as well, like 21 faces you make while you read Gone Girl or, you know, 10 things book nerds do and all of those videos are really entertaining and nice but they're not my favourite content. My favourite content is literally someone who just wants to tell me about the book. And, and I'm, I like people who have opinions that aren't necessarily aligned with everybody else's opinions and aren't necessarily positive opinions too and if they go, okay look I didn't like this book, here's why that's one of the best things, I think. Um, and you get, I find that I get that a lot more in smaller booktubers. They just seem to be more open and honest, maybe because they haven't got that, haven't put up that mask when they look at the camera yet, where they kind of feel like they know what they're expected to say, so they try and say that. Um, I feel like there's something more raw, more honest and open about smaller booktubers. Um, not that that necessarily goes away, the authenticity doesn't go away with more views, but I, there's just something a little bit more vulnerable, I think, about, about smaller booktubers that I really enjoy. So anyway, I couldn't choose just five booktubers, obviously. I had to choose like 11, I think it was. Um, I've got them written down here. So I'm just going to list them. I don't have any specific compliments for each of you because you are all amazing and you all have such great opinions and conversations and it's the personality and the voice. I really love some of you people's voices. Um, so the sound of somebody's voice is really important. So if I'm listening to somebody talk and they have an annoying voice, I just will not be able to finish the video. And I know that's terrible. This is why I can't listen to audiobooks. Sometimes voices, they just get under my skin and there's nothing anyone can do about it to change that, which is weird. But on the same hand, if you've got a slightly nice voice and I start to really enjoy your voice, I will listen to everything you have to say just to keep listening to your voice. So anyway, um, besides the point, here is the list of people that I watch regularly and get excited when I see their little videos pop up in my um, subscription feed. Cool. So we've got The Bald Book Geek, Martha Rose, Clara, Bookish Nur. I'm not sure where you've gone. You haven't posted anything in like two months, but I, yeah, I s still think of you when I think of Booktube, which is cool. Um, Beyond Opinions, John the Bookish Gnome. Books and Bobs, Jack the Bibliophile, Reading Puppet, uh, and Story Nut. Um, another person I really enjoyed is uh, Alex from The View from the Bar, but he has more than 500 subscribers, but not as many as he should have. Some of his videos are just amazing. He's got such personality and great ideas and great um, discussions. Like, he really makes you think when you watch his videos, and it's entertaining and inspiring and I really love his videos, you should check that out, um, View from the Bar. He does review a lot of Stephen King books, that's a challenge he's doing at the moment I think, but um, 
I mean, that's not a bad thing. That's great. Go watch him for that alone. But I don't really like Stephen King. Um, I want to read one of his books just to see how good of a writer he is. I don't want to read one that's going to scar me for life. I need something that's not too creepy. Anyway, those are my... Those are my, my people that I watch, that I subscribe to, um, that I think you should check out because they are not as recognised as they should be. Um, I have filmed this twice now, I have talked way too much. Thanks so much for watching everyone, I hope that this has been an alright video. Um, people I should tag, who should I tag? Maybe I'll just tag everyone on my list if you want to do it. Um, who are your top 5, 11, 500, whatever, uh, YouTubers with less than 500? Uh, I'm not sure who made this tag originally or where it started, but thank you so much for tagging me, Bookie Laura. I've really enjoyed doing it, and yeah. Okay. Bye, everyone. <laughs> How do you turn this thing off?